All right, what's up, guys? Here we go with the the Poland. This is the one we just wanted to do some uh, basic DIY at home uh, mods on. This is the one we done the video on. I know we got two Poland pros we're messing with. This is the last video we just done of. This is the one it runs, but doesn't want to idle. <clears throat> and uh, so figured part of that out with the carburetor. If I can get up, you can see the screen there. It is a screwdriver. The screen, take the top of the carb off. You can see where the screen inside is just caked in debris where it was pulled up from the tank. So, odds are I took it off last night, let it dry out so you guys could see it. And, uh, so odds are you blow this thing out, clean all the ports and everything out, carburetor would probably be just fine. Uh, what I did was, uh, so I got on Amazon, was looking around, so I was wanting to find uh, new fuel, uh, fuel lines, because I was wanting to go ahead and change the lines on it. And uh, a fuel filter, I did put a new fuel filter in it that I had, I know I had, so I just had to find it, but I, the, uh, so the, I just went ahead and bought a kit, is what it comes down to, and for me to get everything separately, it would have cost me more money than getting on Amazon and just buying a full kit, <clears throat> so it was a full fuel line kit, and a uh, new primer, carburetor plug, all new gaskets, filter, or air filter and two fuel filters it was like 18 bucks ordered it last night and just then just came today so that was pretty quick <clears throat> excuse me so this one i'm going to keep it clean it up and uh you know clean everything out on it real good and keep it put up and uh with some other miscellaneous carbs i got so i have it for a spare if uh we happen to come across another one somewhere down the line that's having carb issues i'll get that one cleaned up have it put in there to where <clears throat> out of the dust and everything so uh, we can throw on another one and uh, if it needs to and then go with it so what I'm going to do is we'll get these fuel lines and everything installed and uh, I did have someone tell me to uh, the gap on the plugs that uh, the, the recommendation I haven't checked Poland site but the recommendation was uh, .025 on the gap said but with these polands run better at uh, 30 instead of 25 so I'll find my gapper and uh, I'm going to gap it at 30 before I put it in and uh, change all new gaskets because I was wanting to get gaskets for it also and uh, just in case it was uh, a vacuum leak you know somewhere along the line was going on so this one it came with all new gaskets and everything in the kit so we're going to change all the gaskets on it and everything and uh just in case that could have been a problem, get the fuel lines put in. We've got a new air filter with, you know, replaces basically upgrading the fuel system on it. So I'll get all that put together and then uh, I'll show you what I've learned from a couple other people on uh, getting better airflow. And then I'm trying to figure out a basic, easy to do at home DIY for a better exhaust flow on this without having to cut it to pieces and re weld it. I know a lot of people don't have welders and uh, so we're going to figure something out to get a little bit better exhaust flow out of it because these things are so restrictive it's crazy so we're going to try to figure something out that you can just you know basic tools that you have in your garage to get more flow out of the exhaust so let me uh, we'll get all this stuff put in and then uh, We'll try to get something figured out. Here we go. We got the fuel lines in. <clears throat> well, we got the new carb on the fuel lines in and everything. This carb, I don't know about it. Uh, seems like you can see it moving here. Seems like it's got a lot of slack and slop. And you could probably, if you wanted to, because this has just a little clip on the, the back side of it there, you could pop that clip and uh, remove that, that piece of brass and you, you probably put some small washers on there just to get it to, you know to take some of that out just to get you know, get everything to engage a little quicker if you wanted to um, depending on how it goes I don't know I'm thinking uh, 
maybe just cleaning the old car. We'll see how this one runs and just go from there, I guess. If it runs decent, I might play with it and see what it, uh, there's a way to adjust it a little better. It's everything, it's, uh, with the other carb, you can see, kind of see the difference on the, the linkage setup. This is the original one from Poland. I mean, it's the same way. It has a, a lot of slop. It's got to go pretty far before it engages. <clears throat> but it, I know everything fits a lot better with the original style on it. Uh, I did see a couple of them on there. And I prefer going through Amazon now, so there's not really a... I couldn't find a big selection for carburetors on there, but HIPAA... They had one that was uh, more OEM style than this one. This one was a couple dollars cheaper in the kit. So it's, uh, I went ahead and went with it. Probably should have spent the extra, it was like the extra two bucks. But uh, we'll give that a try. So here, let me back this out, is a lot of the recommendations I've been finding as far as these Poland's are concerned. Because as you just, you know, you guys seen these videos, most of the saws I mess with are just basic house saws. <clears throat> so that's still the same original air filter. I didn't want to put the new one on there and be playing around with a drill bit and screw it up. So here's the cover. Here's the other. So this is what it looked like before. Same thing as the other pulling. So what was recommended was take the original where you take the the cover and because the only air access they have is along the bottom and I use the 3 8 bit and just put uh, a couple holes in the top a couple of the guys that I've seen pictures of they uh, put one some of them put one big one up here and then some of them ran just different size holes some of them just had a bunch of small ones just all over the cover and the other guy, he had, I think it was a 7 16 bit is what he used on his. Uh, the biggest one I have down here is a 3 8 So I just went ahead and went with the 3 8 ran them across. Just put three in it. And then on the cover, I just put two in it. Uh, the one guy, he notched his completely out of the bottom right here to get that. Because once this top is on there, it's the, the air intake on it. It's kind of, you know limited it has to pull up uh, from I think it's right here on the side somewhere but anyway it's uh, he notched his completely out and then uh, you know the other guy just put one bigger hole in it and then of course you know the other guy had three smaller ones I just used the same bit three eighths and let me get this on there real quick and show you how it looks Kind of buggered that one up a little bit. But I had the cover on, wasn't thinking about it, just making markings, taking it off, and you know, drilling it out. But of course, now you want to fight me. Come on, big fella. Put the covering all the way on. There we go. So that's what it's like with it on. Now, this cover right here, it drops down to the bottom three holes so it's not like completely up like that I didn't want to go through the labels and uh, at least not yet we'll see how it acts like this but it'll definitely let a little bit of, you know a little bit more air in there and I think I'll probably have to because uh, this is the saw we think about just repainting making a different collar throwing some homemade labels on it and stuff so we'll see how it goes if it uh, doesn't seem like it make it made a difference I'll, I'll just yank the uh, sticker off and put a couple more holes in the top to see if we get a better flow now the exhaust I'm still trying to come up with an idea for the muffler to where it's something easy that everybody can do at home and uh, <laughs> that's a little bit of a little bit of an issue there without having to cut it apart and weld something in place but uh, I'll try to figure something out so we'll get this top back on and uh, I'll mess with this muffler and we'll see how it goes from there but like I was saying these covers yeah because once it's down all the way screwed down it pretty much seals up all the way around it so the air you're getting is like where the air fuel mixture is the low high and this side here there's a big rubber grommet in there so once the cover goes down 
around it right here it kind of seals it off so you it's it is like really limiting the air intake that's going to it so that should help some but i'm thinking i'll probably have to take this off and uh, put a couple holes in the top just to make it worthwhile so we'll see how it goes there so now we'll see if i what i can figure out with that muffler and then we'll pick it back up all right the easiest idea i can think of without having to cut and weld drill holes or whatever have you <clears throat> for just an easy just to get it to flow just a little bit better it's the easiest thing i can think of because you can see where it's all blocked off in there you cannot see no light from anywhere so all you have is this slot and this slot where it's got that baffle in there and it's, that baffle has got a few you know can't get enough light in there you see but it's just got a few holes in the top a few holes in the bottom and that's it so it has to flow through that come through so it's a <clears throat> then you got your screen that goes on but then you got this so which restricts it a little bit more than it has to come out go through the top and the bottom and then circle around you know come through this uh, outlet right here so what we're going to do I don't have a Dremel so if you have a Dremel you could uh, trim that off on the top and the bottom or what I did realize you can actually if you if you can get in there good enough you could, might be able to bend them because they will move they do have a little bit of play in them now what I did figure out was the two pieces this is where your screws go when it's mounted to the uh, to the head there these do come out so I just stuck it in there, I took the multi-tool and stuck in there, and they come straight out. Now, with these two out, because I thought they was uh, welded in, but they're not. They just set in there. So now, with those out, you can, you have, uh, you can see how much of a difference there is in there. Because the bolts, they just bottom out here on the bottom when it goes in. You know, you got your gasket, you have your... Uh, where does it sit? Here it is. Your plate just sits on the back. You know, just like that. So, with those, with these sleeves out of there, it opens up these two holes. So, you get a little bit more flow because that one is actually right behind this. So, it's going to let it come, you know, flow out. It's going to bypass. Where there's uh, that baffle is in there, so this is going to totally bypass it. And get down here where you can see it, but it's totally going to totally bypass it on top and bottom. And uh, let me see Let's if I can get some light so you guys can see. But it's going to totally bypass that. Yeah, you can see the, you can see it in there now. You got one there, and then this side is the same way. And the one, like I was saying, you get your screen on. You gotta keep them sparks down. I know a lot of people don't run them, but <clears throat> teach their own. And with it on there, I mean, a little screen is not really going to restrict anything. So, so now you have that hole where that screw is. Once the screw is in there, you have two holes this size that it's going to flow. It's going to just going to blow it straight up and against it through the screen, and then come out. Now, I did see one. I don't know if it actually make a difference. The guy took one and uh, with this piece here, put it in a uh, vise, and uh, I don't know what he, he didn't say what he used, but he actually tapped on it and got it to bow out a little bit farther. Not a whole lot. I don't even know if it'd be enough to really make a difference. But uh, so I'm not even going to mess with that part. You could probably actually grab it with a pair of vise grips or something, and you know, just tweak it out a little bit more if you wanted to go that route. I don't know if it honestly if it'll make much of a difference, but so I'm not going to mess with that part. So the screws, it shouldn't make a difference with them. The easiest way to get it on there is probably going to be uh, it takes a star bit. Mine, I got an extension on it, so the easiest way to do it is probably going to be to 
piece of rag. The um, mine's not magnetic, so if you have a magnetic one, it'd make it a lot easier. So the easiest way to do it is probably going to be to get the screw started in the muffler first. It shouldn't be that bad. It's just not holding it straight. If it's magnetic, it'd make it a lot easier. So you know, you get your screw on there first. Probably make it a lot easier getting it started. I'll find out when I go to put it on. But that should help the flow of songs. It's bypassing the baffle. And uh, to me, if you want to get real extreme, if you had a Dremel or something, you could you could still open this up a little bit more if you wanted to. Um, mine is, my Dremel's cooked, so I'm out of luck on that. But uh, So I'm going to try this route, and we'll see. I'll get uh, this one out there. I'll get it all back together. And uh, we'll compare the two. I have to get this one out. I'll change the bar and everything on the other Poland Pro. They're both the same, 42 cc, same model number. We'll get them out there, fire them up, and uh, see if it makes a difference. It's getting kind of late now, so I have to wait till tomorrow when I get off work. But uh, this one, uh, we'll see how the carburetor acts on it. I'm not too uh, not too fond of it. And uh, so we'll get it out there. I don't know if we we'll have to tweak it or not. You know, it's one of them you a China carbs, so it's not factory pulling. So, but we'll check it out. Let me get this all back together, and then uh, get it situated. You know, I'll get the other pole and get the bar and the chain, and everything changed on it. And then tomorrow, when I get home from work, we'll get them out there and fire them up and see if we can notice any difference in uh, sound or you know whatever have you. See if it would if it's actually worth doing so I shall be seeing you tomorrow after work here we go both of them is back together so we'll see if flow makes a difference in that muffler or not so this is the one with the muffler we played around with and uh, try to get a little bit more flow of the on the intake and I want the crash on bar is just how it came from pulling you know minus the new bar and chain but you can see they are both 42cc PP4218A. Same there, 42cc PP4218A. Both same model. A couple years difference in them. Two different style carburetors. So it's all back together. All I got to do now, we'll take them outside and. Uh, See if we can notice the difference in them. And I'll see you then. Alright guys, I'll try to show you the difference. There's really not a whole lot, I don't think, but I'll show you. The one on the right is the one uh, that we made the extra air holes and modded the muffler. The one on the left is uh, factory.
Hey, I wanted to get in a bad clutch. And see when I was doing the uh, one we just got, the one on the right with the louder muffler, you can see where it's chewed up a little bit. Not enough to keep it from working, but huh, enough to where it probably needs change after another season. But I have no way to honestly measure the uh, air intake flow on them. Uh, it does the one that we put the holes and stuff in for the air cover? It does seem a little, a little, just a little bit more responsive than the other one. But granted, it does have a brand new carburetor on it, uh, so I don't know if that technically has anything to do with it. But uh, you know, as you can see, these covers are pretty solid. So there's really, when I mean, you have your holes up here where your low high is, and uh, I mean, it looks open up through here, but on these, uh, right behind the carburetor on them, which is like right here, there's a big rubber dome. So when this, this cover sets down, it's sealing around it to where your air filter and all that is. Uh, I might be able to show you if I can get this all quick enough. But, because uh, I was thinking, eh, you know, there's got to be more airflow than just that, you know. But actually, it really doesn't appear, appear to be um come on because up in here i mean it's 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 really tight where that sets down so now i can kind of get it uh for the one video i watched from the online when i was looking at exhaust mods and stuff like that i can kind of see where the guy's coming from on the airflow for these and uh, as you can see it's uh this one i trimmed a little bit but Let's see if I can get to where I can show you the on the cover on these. This one with that other carburetor, I actually had to open it up a little bit where the linkage was a little different, so I just had to move, remove some plastic. But it still seals tight. You can see where, like, how it arches up, and this way, you know, the same way on the well, on that one, it will be this one. I had to trim off a little bit, but uh, it sets down around all the uh, the rubber and all this here. That's kind of what caused this to get pinched because someone had it apart, and because this that that wire is actually supposed to, there's a slot inside the rubber right here where that wire goes, and they didn't have it in it, and uh, so it got smashed where the bolt goes. But anyway, there's no real spots for it to actually gain air access. Uh, besides, I mean, you got your where your throttle is right here to adjust the speed, you know, your, your idle speed. You have a hole there for air to go in. And uh, for your high-low, you have a hole, you know, the a bigger hole here. Oh, I fell. You know, you got your bigger hole here for air to go through. So there's really not a lot of air access to it. So I can, I get where the guy is talking about now because it just has these three. So we put these three in it there and then these, uh, these two here to get more air into the saw. Uh, the one, uh, the guy, uh, he actually notched out this whole piece right here to get more air up to the filter. And uh, so he had, uh, I think he had one big, that guy had one big hole here. I mean, it, it was big. And then he had your three here. And uh, he had luck with that. And uh, the other guy just drilled a couple in the cover, a couple in uh, the air filter cover. But he also, which I'm not going to do because it'll have the, the filter too close to the carb, is uh, if I can zoom you in there, I'll show you. He uh, actually took these pieces off as well, but I'm not going to do that. You can see where, um, if I can get it on it, there we go. You can see right there, this is where your air filter rests up against that to keep it from being sucked into the carb. Now, what he did was he also put the holes in the air filter cover and the cover that sits over top of the carb, he actually uh, cut all these, there's one on, with this saw, there's one on top and one on bottom. He took them both off. Now, he was said he had luck with it not sucking the air filter up against the carb, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna leave it there so it keeps the, the filter out away from it to keep it from sucking it up. But, so, like I was saying, I don't, I can't really, uh, I don't have any kind of a tool that will uh, rate the airflow going into the carburetor with uh, 
these extra holes being in it so I can't honestly say it makes a difference. I know this saw is way more snappier than the other one and with the muffler with just a little bit that I done to it um, it definitely flows a lot better with just that little bit done. Uh, I mean there's way more if you, ha if you have a welder and uh, you can come up some good ideas for that to there's, I found a lot of them. You can get on uh, eBay. There's actually mufflers for these. It's been modded, but um, you can get some pretty cheesy ones, kind of cheap. But the ones that are like look real legit, you know, like they actually function like they should, uh, like up around seventy to a hundred dollars. And so, you know, I'm not, of course, I'm not going to pay that. I and mean, it's this is fine for me. It's just a home saw, so you know, it ain't like this saw is going out and you know cutting down this. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this saw is for you know the smaller stuff you know like the small branches that's on that tree just something you know that happens to fall down in your yard that's why they're considered home saws I'm not saying pulling don't make some that can do it because pulling definitely did make logging saws but you know that's a whole different story we mess with uh, the basic home saws just to get them running and all that but you can see uh, I'll show you the difference on the, the plastic you can actually see the difference on the plastic between the flow uh, this is there's a lot of water and oil, but anyway, you can see when you look down at them how uh, grungy the one is compared to the other on the plastic. Well, hopefully, you can see it. But uh, you can see how it's just a little bit dirty on this one. A little bit of char, you know, bait, uh, bar oil and stuff on it where it kicks out, and the exhaust just blows a little bit. But this one, you can see it on it way more so there is definitely a difference in um, the flow of exhaust that is coming out get that where you can see it and you can see how uh, you can definitely tell the difference at least I don't know if you can on camera but standing out here looking at it you can see there's way more that's uh, splattered across the saw right here on the plastic compared to this one so I mean there's definitely more exhaust pressure coming out of this one you know compared to the other one but so I mean as far as exhaust flow goes yeah it just that little bit that we done definitely made a difference um, I mean I don't know what all people are into but just a small mod like that uh, for me is good enough um, I hell I'm, I'm fine with just the you know the little bit of stuff I do you know the the factor one suits me just fine you know it's no big deal but for the people that's into that kind of stuff, I mean, if you're on a tight budget and you just want to play around with your saw, it works, man. That's the saying all we done was popped out those two pieces that hold the screws in. And it's not hard to put the muffler back in. All I done was, uh, well, I had the muffler off, just held it down, slid the two, you know, put the two bolts in, slid, you know, put uh, the two back, the gasket and the back piece on, and just lifted it up. And with the cover off, and uh, to make you know, help you angle, you know, get them started easier. And just got them up there and just started one, got you know, two or three turns on it, then started the other one with two or three turns. And after I'd done that, it went straight on with no problem, uh, bolted on just like you know, just like it should, you know, no problem at all. So, if you know, for a small exhaust mod, it, hell, it worked great. I think I'm not no pro by any means, I am no pro, I just tinker around with stuff which you guys seen in my videos you know chainsaws blowers weed eaters chippers you know all that kind of stuff but I can't honestly say it did make a difference there's so much more uh, <clears throat> exhaust where it blew across on this one compared to the other one and there is a lot of restriction in these so I won't drag it all with that I'll leave it with that and uh, you guys can make your own decision um, if you think it's worth it or not for something that's easy to do I mean it's a 10 millimeter bolt a couple star bits or star screws and you know your mufflers right off you know and it's easy to do if that's something you want to do but uh, I just wanted to try it and uh, it seemed to work I think it made a really big difference um, so yeah yeah I mean I'll leave you guys with your judgment on that and uh, thanks for watching uh, any advice anybody ever has make sure you give it to me you negative positive it don't matter I mean I don't care I like reading comments when they happen to get on there and uh, 
But thanks for watching, guys. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, it's starting to get dark, so I'll put this cover back on. And uh, I might do, uh, I might break that one down and uh, see if we can do a better model on that muffler or get some pipe or something. I'll, I'll make my own if it's, you know, if I ever get around to it. But uh, we'll try something different. Because I'm wanting to take, since I have two of them, I'm going to want to take one and just completely repaint it to where it doesn't look like a Poland. <clears throat> Excuse me throw our own labels on it and uh, mod the exhaust and the intake and all that and uh, somebody I was talking to at work was talking they was they messed with them a little bit and uh, they of course it was a logging saw and uh, they had theirs ported and everything and I've never personally seen it it was a big husk of Varna but they said they had it ported and all that but uh, I'll have to check it out sometime if I get a chance but um, that's kind of extreme for me I just like this little stuff but uh, thanks for watching guys try not to drag it out but uh i just love to talk <laughs> but uh you know thanks for watching i really appreciate it and uh remember we're still trying to get the channel to grow so try to help us get the word out and uh share and subscribe and thanks for watching and i'll catch you at the next one